everyone. It is Teresa's Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I love sharing art from my heart. How is everyone tonight? Welcome to Thursday, the sudden February 4th. So, um, I'm going to get to painting. When you come on, tell me where you're watching from. Tell me if you're a first timer. And we get started. So today was a long day. This has been an actual long week, considering it's only been a three-day week so far, and I was off Monday for snow. I don't know why, but it's just been a long week. Today was actually the nicest day of the week. It wasn't um, too cold, and it was quite sunny today, so I love that. Anyway, I am now tracing what is a giant heart. So if you're wondering what I'm painting tonight, you have now got to see it. This is what I'm painting. I'm going to be adding some more um, detail to it and some fun little colors. But, you know, I just like to trace when I can an outline for placement, for sizing, so I don't get carried away and like I have said before I paint sometimes like I color and I like to go in and outline everything so it keeps me within the parameters of my design so now I am picking up this is periwinkle and I'm painting I picked up a little bit of white on the corner of my brush because I don't want the outside to be just a solid um, light periwinkle like I started with. That was just to outline. So I'll be picking up a little bit of white as I go along and mixing it in my periwinkle a little bit while I do um, the background. I don't know what happened Tuesday, you guys. Um, I did an entire live. I looked up a few times for comments and there were none and I just painted along, painted along, painted along. And then when I was done, voila, there was nothing. Good thing I had been recording. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten to share what I painted with you all the other night, which was, oh, does anybody even remember? Oh, I know, it was that little love sign, love grows here. That was really cute. Painted that on an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, well, actually, the wood was 7x7. Seven seven. Once it's framed, it's about 8x8. Eight that was cute. That was fun to paint. If you haven't seen that, it's listed. I posted it, um, but you might have seen it by now. So, and as you all know, if I'm not painting on wood, I like to paint on this bristle board because it's easier for storage purposes. All right? When you come on, say hi. You know I'm using... Um, Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. I use Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint um, most of the time, unless I'm looking for a particular color or I'm stuck trying to find paint. In this day and age, um, I also like Deco Art. Those are pretty much um, the two paint brands I stick to when I'm using acrylic paint. For my signs, when I do my farmhouse signs, I actually use for the backgrounds, the base coat all that wood for the wood signs that get framed. I actually use um, Benjamin Moore paint like you would use for inside your house for your walls. Buy it by the gallon. It's a nice white. It has good coverage um, and it's quality paint. It's a nice white. Isn't that funny? I mean, how old were you guys when you realized there was like a zillion different white paints? And that all white, even, you could even take white copy paper and lay it next to each other and it would be totally different colors. It's so weird. So, I have that done. I did my background. So what else? Anybody got anything new going on? 
I did enjoy the sunshine tabs at work, but I did enjoy the sunshine. The sun seems extra bright in the winter when it's glaring off the white, 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 bright snow. We still seem to have a lot of in places. In some areas, it's like it never even snowed. So all melted, gone. You wouldn't even know it. And then, hi, Carrie. Um, but then other areas, the drifts and where the, the plows came through and had to pile up is like 10 feet high. It's amazing. I'm just rinsing out this brush. I'm drying it off. You know, I sandwich it between some paper towel and give it a squeeze. Thinking about starting to use rags for this. I go through a ton of paper towels. And uh, sometimes I feel bad about that. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like it's a necessity because painting, to me, is a necessity because of the way it makes me feel. And if you like watching me paint, I will be painting this beauty next week in the free group. How cool is that? Isn't that pretty? So we'll be painting this. Um, I've put the supply list and the tracer for this, but really you don't need a tracer. All you need is a big heart that will fit right smack center in whatever your surface is. I will probably be painting but on 11 by 14. This is a nine by 12, but I think I'm going to paint next week the um, heart palms on an 11 by 14. So all you need to do is cut yourself out or draw yourself a nice, part in the middle of your surface and um, we will get started at seven next Thursday here and in the free group. And this week, and I don't know if you saw, have you seen my posts? I am doing a collaboration again with these brushes. I am doing a collaboration this weekend um, with a group of like-minded and talented women. Cabin Fever Winter Collaboration. It starts tonight. It's actually started now at 7. So when I get done here, I'll go over and lend my support and watch others who are going tonight. Um, I will be on at 1 on Saturday. Doing another Valentine theme um, painting. I haven't completely decided what yet. Honestly, sometimes when I'm doing these things, I feel like I have to get up in the morning and see what I feel. Some people get up in the morning and have to see what they feel like for breakfast. I get up in the morning and have to see what I feel like to paint. What do you guys think so far? Hey, Nelda. Jackie O'Reilly, nice to see you. So this could even, this is like a really cool um, design. A beetle bug, Volkswagen car is very simple. You could use this. I mean, this would be great for kids. You could put this on um, your kids' Valentine's cards if you wanted to. Easily enough to sketch them out. And it's some red. Here's my red. I am just face coating. Remember, we don't judge until new brush. Um, until we start towards the end of our project, and we're adding all the details and the highlights and the shading, and that's when we see our complete design come together. Before that, we just go along with it. And it's paint, so it's okay because if we mess up like I did over here, we can fix it. Wait for it to dry and we can fix anything. So I think this is really cute. It actually reminds me in high school 
and she may be watching now or she may be watching later because she does sometimes watch my lives. My girlfriend had a quite old Volkswagen. It was not a very reliable car. It was not a very safe car, but it was a car nonetheless, and we had a lot of fun in it, even in the winter when it had no heat. Back in the day, you were happy to just have a car. As long as it got you where you wanted to go, it didn't really matter what it looked like or if it had any heat. I said, I'm still just roughly, I guess, somewhat base coating this. Then we will see how it all comes together in the end when I start adding on all the details and whatnot. And it might need red and orange are one of those colors that are kind of translucent. So it might need another coat of red. We shall see. But I'm going to leave that for now. I didn't put out any black. I love the mixture of the magenta and the red together. I like how it goes. Black from my tires. This is why I do the background first too, because then when I go in and I add my details, it makes up for any little areas that maybe aren't perfect and need to be fixed a little bit. I wouldn't go in. Well, there is a technique to paint the background after, if that's the look you're going for. Otherwise, I will paint the um, background first. Now, instead of getting out some a little bit of gray, I just grabbed my white and put my dirty black brush in it and made some gray. I could have grabbed some gray, but what the heck? And I even, when I run out, I don't even need to pick up any more black because there's plenty of black in my brush that I just need to go in and add more white to the mix that I made to begin with to get the gray. So there are our details so far. I mean, our background so far. Details. Now I'm getting into the details. That is our, um, all our base coating and our background to begin with, okay? I am gonna go in here and do a little bit more. For my heart, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the periwinkle. I added a little bit of white to my brush and I'm going in and I'm doing a second coat of the magenta. And I'm blending in on this side some white to give my heart a little bit of highlight over here. Don't forget, you guys are doing the free class next week. Um, if you haven't painted an entire class with me, it will be a good one to take. 
We're going to be doing the palm trees. And with um, summer coming up, although it's a valentine design, you can use those palm trees for um, other pictures. I like being able to do that. I like learning elements that I can use in other places and for other designs or techniques. I got a nice shade and a highlight on my um, part. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the second coat of my bar. And I know you can still see my pencil marks. That's okay because when we go around and add the details, that's not going to matter anymore. Even with the trunk where I decided to go with a different shape. I had a salesman call me at work today and he's like hey oh it's almost the weekend I'm like yeah okay but it's not and then he's like well aren't you excited it's the Super Bowl and I'm like no I'm not really into football and then he's like oh but aren't you into the commercials and the food I'm like no I'm not into the commercials and the food either I'm like do you have something to say do you want to talk to me about something and I'm usually a very upbeat person and people will call me at work all the time be oh it's so nice to talk to you you're always in such a good mood and um, pleasure, but this guy today, like, I don't know, he just rubbed me the wrong way, assuming, you know, that first of all, I was going to be excited about the weekend, and second of all, that I was going to be excited about the Super Bowl. No, not really. Whatever. Email me your information, and I'll look it over. What do you guys think so far? Isn't that cute? I'm going to add a little bit more of um, highlight up in here around my heart. In order to blend, you have to have nice wet paint on your brush. So even though I want to add the white highlight, I'm also mixing it with the periwinkle so I can get a nice smooth stroke in here. Yeah. I don't want to just pick up the white. Then I'll leave a stripe of white. And I need the periwinkle in here to blend my colors. a nice wet brush. There we go. I'm gonna go up in here and fix this a little bit because I got carried away and we're all good. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to start out um, my liner brush. Go back into my black. I'm going to start adding my and then you'll see how it all just begins to come together. I want my heart to pop. I'm going to outline that in black. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter if some magenta shines through or some periwinkle shines through. You just want to... have a focal point. Okay? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the same thing with my Volkswagen Bug. It makes such a difference when you start adding 
the details and the shading and the highlighting. Oh, I'm waiting for my red to dry because I want to go in and add a little bit of white to my back window. While we wait for that, oh, and, and my license plate. While we wait for that, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow out. And lights. All the while, I'm still using the same brush. I'm basically using... Um, I think this is number 10. Yep, and number 10. And then I use that larger one for the background. And then, of course, you always need a liner brush when you're going in to add all the details. And once again, I'm not concerned that you can see my pencil marks through the paint because that's still guiding me when I go in and add the black shading and the white highlighting picture. Okay. Let's see, I think my red is white enough to add white. Now you don't necessarily have to add white. Paper's white, that's a color in itself. But I like to add the white anyway, but mostly because the paint obviously gives the paper a different finish. I'm back to my liner brush. I'm going to dip in my white. Add some highlight now to my heart. Okay. And my star. my pink there. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? My black, because now that I do my white, and go here. I hope I'm not making you dizzy with all this spinning and spinning and spinning. Can't talk and letter at the same time. Not that my lettering is all that good anyway, but still have to concentrate. It's almost like you're not your thumb, I mean your thumb, your tongue when you're trying to do something. Really concentrate. Highlights to the bumper. Go. Um, our 
bug would not be complete out. A peace sign on the back, right? Let me make a little bit more gray again over here. A little bit of a, just a squiggle on the back window. And I think might be it. Let me see. Oh, no, didn't finish my lights. I knew I was missing something. You know, I like making some dots with the back of my brush. And then I'm going to add the glare to the lights with a little bit of yellow. I'm going to use this brush because I want it to be more of a um, swish, a dry brush, white swish on my windows. So wipe it off a little bit and then I'm just going to do a little swish there. Get paint off and do a swish there. Actually, do this too. Might look good. Bit of um yellow swish in the back of our window a little bit of a sun glare and that'll do it oh no button there it is there you go you guys a little uh valentine love bug isn't that cute so you can use that Art, so you can use it for your kids valentines i want to remind you one more time this is what we'll be painting next week in the free group so be ready i'll be doing mine on 11 by 14. you can do yours on any size surface you want i have provided a supply list and a tracer and if you're looking for something to watch and you want to you know check out some artists online cabin fever i've posted it on my way on my site cabin fever started tonight at seven and it will be going through um Sunday and I am live Saturday at one in that group. Thank you guys. Love you. Stay safe and sane and I'll talk to y'all soon.